Hello there, do you even blog tribe? I wanna walk you through my recent exploits into Notion. So I used Notion five or six years ago. I didn't really get it. I didn't really understand what it was for, how it was gonna fit into my life and my business. And just the past two months, I've been super overwhelmed by the amount of apps I use. Todoist, things for like to-do list, Asana for project management stuff, Airtable for some stuff, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Evernote for note taking and all this stuff. And I'm just like, that's way too much. I need to, I need to do something different. And I watched a few videos on Notion on YouTube, made some changes, and this is what I've come up with. So this is gonna be a very casual video. It's not explicitly how to do anything specific, but instead I wanna walk you through what I've created. I think there's some really cool stuff in here. Whether or not you're already on Notion or you've been thinking about it or you're interested in it, I have some cool stuff that I wanna walk you through. So. This is the, the browser-based version, so it looks fancier. It's like a Chrome extension where you can choose different themes. Can't do that in the desktop app yet. It looks a little bit more bland. That was the wrong app that I just opened, which is why I'm using it in the browser version. You can see, like, here's my desktop version. Doesn't look quite as good. I like the themes. I like to look fancy. So let me walk you through my dashboard first. So the, the to-do list, the, pr the project management stuff, I'm actually really proud of. Uh, it functions really well, it's, it's neat, it's fancy. We'll get to that in just a second. Before I do that though, I have some quick links to you know different stuff around my, my life and business. I have two tables here, or actually just databases of notes, just random notes that I take for like pretty much anything. I, don't, I never actually look at it in this view. This is ugly and like overwhelming. I never look at it like this, but I just have a big database with all my notes. And the same thing for content ideas. Whenever I have a blog post, YouTube video, podcast, whenever I'm creating any of that stuff, I will have notes, I have outlines, I'll do that sort of stuff. I keep that in a separate database, a separate folder right here. And the only way I really ever look at this is in my dashboard. It only pulls like recent stuff. I set it to only pull like 10, 25, whenever I first load up this page, the most recent notes. So I can just quickly go through and say like, oh, okay, here's my uh, BMF call with Jamie, open that up. I can like edit here or I can open up at the page, et cetera, et cetera. So I got my recent notes and my recent content items right here. And then an inbox. Now I want to show you uh, two things. Number one, in order to make this work, uh, I stole this from somebody on YouTube, by the way, I did not create this. I don't even remember who it was. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a link and you know leave it in the description below. But I wanted a, I wanted things to flow automatically. Like I wanted some automations in here to like have to-do list flow to the right spots. And so I did that in two ways. Number one, I have a master task database. I never look at it in this way, but this is like a big list of all my tasks. I have a name, I have whether it's done or not, a checkbox, whether it's like urgent, does it need to be done like ASAP? I have some context that I can add, like, is this for me only, or can my assistant Becky do this? Do I, can I do this at home? What project is it related to, et cetera. I got a due date, obviously. And then I have, like, the category, really, the project it relates to. And so there's a different database just for this. And personal, DYEB, -E -E block, and then my niche site, uh, Project K. And you can see here, I have these categories down here. I rarely ever look at this, as I'll show you up here, but I wanna show you what happens when I categorize something. So order pizza for Friday, this is personal. If I categorize this, personal, it'll automatically remove it out of here and move it down here. Now it's in the personal, order pizza for Friday. And if I do the ASAP box right here, you can see it actually moved it out and it's up here, do now order pizza for Friday. Uh, and then if it's not urgent, like I need to do it ASAP, I can like remove that down there. But if I put a date on this, let's say uh, like three weeks out, nothing changes. It'll just add that date, February 6. But if I move it to the next week, within the next seven days, it'll actually move it up here to do soon. So I really wanted to be able to just add tasks in the inbox, like order pizza again, and we'll do like tomorrow, pizza tomorrow. You'll see it's not in do now because I didn't check the ASAP thing, but now it's in the uh, the do soon. And then whenever that's done, obviously, where, where'd it go? Order pizza again, 
if I click done, it just removes it from everything. I can always go back and find the archives in my task database, but that's pretty much it. That's all. I thought that was really cool. I love having an uh, inbox just where I throw a bunch of stuff. And then a couple of times a day, honestly, I'll come in here and then update the dates, the due dates and stuff like that. I will change it to, uh, this is DYEB and this other one is DYEB as well. All right, so everything's out of my inbox. It's nice and clear. I clean it out several times a day. Just things are appropriately categorized and sorted. This is all the stuff I need to do like ASAP that I've been putting off. This, <laughs> call the dentist. Uh, these are the things due in the next week. And again, I have these sort these set up, filtered and sorted. If you want me to go into this in further details, by the way, I would actually love to make more Notion videos. I think this is super fun and interesting. It's not strictly like marketing or online business related per se, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more like Notion videos, specific tutorials. I can show you exactly how to st set this up from scratch, step by step. If you want to see those videos, please let me know because I'd be happy to to do that. But Continuing with my general tour here, I want to show you some some other stuff. Oh, and these are, by the way, these are all the same database. These, this is all pulling from task. You can see that right here. This is just like an embedded database. All these are pulling from this one master task list. I just had them like uh, sorted and filtered. I tried to say that in one word. <laughs> Siltered? I don't know. Uh, sorted and filtered to, you know, show me different information, show me different data. Okay. So some other cool stuff I want to show you right here. Content ideas. This is formerly in Airtable. And quite frankly, I need to do a little bit of work, making it a little bit less overwhelming. You can see it's, it's grouped currently, which is a feature that Notion added just a couple of weeks ago. This is all my YouTube ideas. Whenever I have one, I just put one in here. I use uh, YouTube as a platform. And if I do blogging or anything like that, podcasting, it puts it in a different uh, group down here. And here's some just random various ideas I have. I also uh, have my, um, I've talked about this before in other videos, but I rank my videos to try and determine what I want to work on next. And I put in a search value one to 10 an on brand value one to 10. And then a, how motivated am I one to 10? And then I take an average and the higher numbers actually I haven't sorted this yet. I just realized I'm sorting it based on a few other things here. Total is descending. That's weird because these are zero. I'm not sure. Oh, that's because I'm sorting based on this first. Anyways, I got a ranking number and I usually sort via that. Right now I'm sorting through this. I want to talk about that because it's not important. But the point is I have all my content ideas here. It usually looks a little bit more organized in Airtable. I can actually just show you what I imported over here. But there you go. That's the same thing you can see. Actually, I'm sorting right here. So I, uh, I imported this just a couple of days ago, and now I don't have to go in Airtable anymore. There we go. It's right there. And I've linked to it from my dashboard. It's literally the first thing. Content ideas. Okay, boom. And just take me right there. Same thing for my niche site. I also have my product inventories. I like to keep an inventory of my freebies, my paid products, courses, everything, most everything. It should be in here so I can quickly go and look in case I want to do bonuses or like offers, if I want to do a flash sale and push some stuff together, it's all right here. Same thing. Uh, I'm actually going to move my affiliate tracker over in just a second. I have all the same things for my niche site, including outreach trackers. I am, uh, I got a database going with all my blog posts that I'm putting out for the niche sites, et cetera, et cetera. Um, maybe one or two more things. I also have something I like about Notion is it can be public, right? And so I'm actually building out, I got rid of my onlineimpact.co domain name just because my members never went there for online impact. And quite frankly, all I had there was like the sales page, really, because I moved all my courses over. They're in Thrivecart Learn now. Just everything, we were in Slack, like we didn't use the website. So now I actually have a lot of dashboard. All my online impact stuff is now uh, like public. Obviously, you need the links in order to access or whatnot. But for my members, it's super easy to come in. And I got toggles here for like recent news things, new courses that are coming out. Obviously, my calendar links to the Slack channel, affiliate program. And also like the private podcast is also here. I have my onboarding. Like and my entire membership website really is in Notion. 
and I think that's really cool. <laughs> and by the way, this is free. I'm not paying for Notion at all. This is all using the free plan. Um, yeah, my private podcast stuff here for members, tool sharing, onboarding, like everything's here. I love that. I think that's I think that's super amazing. Um, what else was I gonna do? Oh, I just thought I'd highlight how much how easy it is to import stuff. So I have my affiliate tracker here, my app tracker, which has my top affiliates. Obviously the affiliate URL, my short links if I have one, and then a link to the dashboard if I have one. I'm actually going to download this right now as a CSV. CSV, just put in my downloads folder, and then go back over to Notion, go to import, and there should be a CSV option right here. I also imported straight from Asana and Evernote, like in one click, that was really nice. That's how I got my notes up here and my content notes was directly from Evernote. I didn't have to like recreate that. I just imported it. So helpful, <laughs> so helpful. All right, so app tracker CSV, move that in there. And it'll take just a minute to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like maybe format that a little bit. Probably won't need a whole lot. Oh, I forgot I even had these. I got a bunch of stuff I'm not even using in here, which I assume I could probably hide. Yeah, I could hide. Oh, let's just hide it. Hide most of these things. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And I won't go through and do a lot of this right now, but I will go ahead and sort by affiliate name. Sort ascending. It already is. It, you can see the sort right there. Uh, I could track earnings in here as well, but honestly, I just love this. Right? Screw it. I'm going to go and do it while you guys are watching on the video. Affiliate status applied and waiting. I don't even need that. I just got my my stuff here. There you go. There is my affiliate tracker now. I've got links to the dashboard. I got my short links over here. Uh, if I wanted to do another one, like Cloudways is my hosting that I just switched to the other day. I know my thing is uid.link slash Cloudways. Yep, that works. Come in here. Cloudways. Oh, it already moved my thing. Short link there. I could link to my dashboard, etc. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this up under do you blog. Oops. And here, right there, do even blog. And I will now uh, grab a link to it, copy link, go back to my dashboard right here. By the way, I don't know what this is, delete. Dashboard and app tracker, link it. Now we're good to go. So right here from my dashboard, I can come check out my app tracker. Ah, that's it, really. Quick links, all my notes are taken here. If I wanna do a new note, I just quickly add this open, new notes. I generally put a tag for like what it is, UAB, and then I start writing, right? This is a note. And I really like uh, their bullets work pretty well, right? I like infinite nest bullets. The only thing I don't like is hitting enter twice. It doesn't actually go back to a previous bullet. And then now you gotta like delete or shift tab and stuff, but it still works. Uh, you, I love the colors. I love the highlights. I love something they oh something else they just added, which was selecting text over multiple blocks. It, you used to couldn't do that if you're like going into WordPress and you copy and paste. Well, you, first of all, you can select all and paste all, and it actually works really well from Evernote. But now you can we used to do this, and it would select the entire block. And now you can hardly see it here because of my theme, but you can actually just select the text like halfway through. All the blocks are still selected as well, but you can select text. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my little dashboard tour here. I think this is fun. If you would like to see more videos on Notion, please let me know in the comments. Um, do I have an affiliate link for Notion? I don't even know if they have an affiliate program, but if they do, I'm gonna drop one so I get some credits or something. If you decide to join Notion, I'll put all that stuff in the links below this video. Thank you for watching. Adios.